Okay, ISV Virtual Tutorials and Instructionals. Welcome back, guys, everybody. Uh, admins, coaches, players, staff members, and everyone else involved at ISV on Saturdays and Wednesdays at U.S. Virgin Islands Chess Federation. Got another game for us to show here. Uh, we got the Sicilian Defense Time Enough Variation. And uh, we're going to go over this game now. Um, all right, guys. So uh, in this game, uh, I had the... Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, this game I had the uh, black pieces, and uh, my opponent and I went for a time and off Sicilian. So, e4 played by my opponent, guys, c5, Sicilian defense, knight f3, e6, the Sicilian French variation, and uh, d4. Well, guys, we don't have to capture and go for the open line. We could also play the move knight to c6, okay? And uh, now if pushing, takes, takes. Knight goes back to b8, and this has been played at the highest level. Carlson, Caruana, 2018. Okay, c takes on d4. We're going to go for the open game, and now guys, knight to c6. Okay, so this is the time on variation. Uh, transitioning, uh, making a transposition from the French variation open Sicilian to the time on variation, okay? And in this line, sometimes white captures. White doesn't always have to capture, guys. In, in some cases, we can also play knight to uh, c3, okay? And then the game can continue with bishop to b4. And this is known as the normal uh, variation. Okay. But we didn't see the normal variation. We just saw the original Taimanov classical line. Takes, takes. This is known as the classical line. Bishop to e2 and d5. Okay, guys. Well, if you have the white pieces here. Uh, again, this game was 42 moves long. Guys, find the move that white played. Well, if takes, 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 and takes. Black has a stronger center. It's going to be hard to deal with that at some point of the game, maybe going into the middle game. Okay, so guys, in this position, uh, my opponent uh, just went for e5, okay? Okay, and uh, g7, g6, and short castles, right? Bishop g7, now putting uh, emphasis on the uh, threat to the e5 pawn, and now f4. Okay, well, f4 opens up the king side, guys, and I think this is already kind of an error. Well, we're not requesting a computer analysis in this game, uh, folks. We're just uh, going over the moves that were played. If you guys want to check out a more advanced level game, I have an opponent that I played today on uh, Sunday, March the uh, 19th, 2023. Um, I played an opponent rated over 2,300. I think he was just short of 2,400 in rapid, but he was 2,200 in classical chess. This was a classical game, guys, 30 minutes per each player. And after f4, guys, I played... Uh, B6 check, move 9, okay? All right, guys, we're about three minutes in. Your host, Colin Heim, Virgin Highlands, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands Chess Federation uh, operator and intermediate instructor at, uh, at ISV. Okay, so King H1, and the game continued. Knight to E7 played by myself, and Knight to C3. Guys, why did I play Knight to E7 in this position? Right, is the, is the plan sort of clear? Right, I want to get to e7, I want to get to f5, and then maybe someday even get to e3, or even get to uh, d4. Those are the weaknesses that I was uh, calculating um, after knight c3, knight f5 as mentioned, and queen to d3. Okay, well guys, I'm going to demonstrate in this game how to uh, go into a queenless uh, game. I'm going to show how to go into a clean, queenless uh, middle game. And this is exactly the line that we saw in the game after bishop to d3. Well, bishop to d3 now uh, providing a post for the c2 pawn. So there's uh, defense, right? Okay, so we're going right, as mentioned, right into this queenless uh, middle game, okay? And typically as black guys, we want to keep the uh, queens on the board as much as possible. But since I already noticed that I had a stronger center after this uh, time and off variation, thinking to myself, well, might as well just get rid of the queens first and then make threats like you know, c2 and, and uh, e2. So this was the line, again, like we mentioned, c, c2 and e2. Okay, guys, good stuff. Way to keep up with the pace. Bishop to d3, as mentioned, uh, outpost in defending. And now c5. Okay, guys, just keep advancing those pawns forward. Black has better pawns, so keep advancing them. Okay, uh, knight to b5, the threat is obvious. Um, white is now making challenges in the game. White wants to hit the uh, good old c7 square and go for that royal double attack, okay? So guys, capturing and obliging, takes, takes. 
And now putting up the bishop, no queens are on the board, so if takes, takes, black has a more developed king. And I think I'm feeling much better about the uh, pawns that I have to face off against. These are just not good uh, pawns uh, for white. And these uh, pawns for black here uh, are excellent. Okay. Okay, guys, good stuff. Let's continue with the game. Well, guys, in this game, my opponent did not uh, go for the captures line, bishop d7 captures. Instead, guys, my opponent played the move c4, and this is a mistake. C4 is a mistake, okay? Because now with black, we're actually supposed to capture on b5 on the next move. And after c captures on b5, guys, rook to b8. And this forces, right, a4. Okay, and uh, after short castles, we see that, well, before short castles from black, which I thought was best, um, most tactical, right? These double pawns on the b5 are just no good. They're going to be dealt with pretty easily. So bishop to e3 now, of course, going for c5. And now, guys, uh, find the move for black. It's pretty obvious, right? d4. Right. Going after the bishop. Bishop drops back to uh, d2. And now f6. Now we want to chop on the f-file. Right? Want to open up the f-file. And we notice that black has uh, a pass pawn, the d-pawn. Okay. They will both be pass pawns very soon. Okay, so my opponent played the move uh, rook to uh, e1 and wanted to put more coverage and emphasis to the captures. Well, guys, in this position, it was best to just, instead of uh, swing the rook over to another square, just take, take, and uh, the game can continue. Okay, now uh, white can play uh, this move, right? Then I'll uh, use the f rook to go here, right? And if now playing a move like this, takes, takes, Go here, push, takes, 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 takes. And uh, it's even material, but black just has a better pawn uh, in the center of the board. And uh, yeah, I can still defend this uh, attack from uh, c5 on the a2 square. Okay, everything's pretty much taken care of. If takes, 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 well, that doesn't work. So uh, one line would go like this. And uh, maybe after rook b7, maybe king uh, g1. And uh, yeah, I mean, we could just uh, play out this game, but I still think black is better, and I still think black is converting. Okay. Okay, so uh, instead, uh, capturing uh, on f6, as mentioned, uh, instead of white capturing, and now uh, putting uh, a threat to uh, the e6 pawn, which is the weakest part of black's game. Okay, rook from f to e8. And now b4. Okay. Well, guys, we're not taking the pawn here. What are we doing? Oh, we are taking the pawn. Well, it was better to push. I don't know why I did not push in this position. Instead, I captured, which was a little interesting. Okay, so I don't know why I did that. Um, oh, wait. Sorry, guys. Let me take it back. Rook fe1. Let's get back to the game. Okay, f takes on e5. Sorry, I just was getting caught up in all those uh, scripts of the variation there. Okay. Huh? Rook to f2 now, and, okay, guys, let's go back. We're kind of, I'm kind of going a little fast. Let me slow down a little bit. Okay, so remember, instead of uh, capturing on f6, right, which was what white was supposed to do, white played the move rook from f to e1, and now that allows me to captures, captures. Now, guys, this is my open f file. This is like a dream for black, right, because black just gets to get to the second rank and uh, give white problems, okay? So bishop to g5, getting out of the way, and now that drops the b2 pawn. Rook from a to c1, but that's fine. Now we got coverage uh, from the threat, okay, on the file. That was not played in the game. Let's take it back. Rook c8 and bishop f6. Well, guys, this is an easy line to calculate. Doesn't, it's not that hard. Takes, takes, takes. And after uh, king to f7, which was played in the game, well, we got coverage uh, to the threat on uh, e6 as well. So black is doing uh, better than just okay. Black is winning. C4 after uh, rook to f1, defending, king over. And it looks like this is going to be really easy to convert, guys, but I had to do some really intense calculations here. And as we see, I spent about, uh, well, we see the time there, 19 and 57 and 15. So my opponent spent about 15 minutes on this game. I spent about 20, uh, excuse me, about, uh, about 10 minutes on this game. Okay, so rook to c3, and uh, now here comes d2, and uh, rook to d1. Well, that's fine. I'm capturing on f6 on the next move. We're going to face off in the center of the board with the kings. Okay, king to e5, king to e3, and rook to b3. 
the line goes like this chops rook takes and cb3 rook captures and check okay so where is this white king going is the question guys where is he going it's going backwards all right e2 king to e4 king back to d1 and rook to d3 this forces an exchange well guys in this position if you go for something anything at all right anything at all takes takes Okay, I'm back just in time, and uh, yeah, this is uh, it's going to be all she wrote, and if you go there, I'm going here, and I still have one pawn, and uh, I'm actually beating you to uh, your own side here, right, check, sure, moving up, but that means I get to go over here, take these pawns, you take my pawn, and this is just... Uh, as convertible as a uh, as a Chevrolet Corvette, okay, on a nice drive in Saint Croix on a Saturday, okay, with no bills to pay in the, in the next week to come, right? Professional chess guys, let's go. Okay, guys, if you made it through that video, congratulations. I want to give you guys the respect and honor that you guys deserve. Okay, it's going to be about 12 minutes. Well, let's just go over the tactics here, guys. We want to show how to convert here for black, because it's not that simple. Sorry. My finger kind of went over the wrong uh, line there, okay? All right, so here we go, and check, and backwards, and king moves up, takes, takes. This is what was played in the game. Back to our game. King goes to c4, king b2, king b4, a5, king a5, king c3, king b5, and it was in this position uh, that white resigned. You guys take care. See everybody over the board. Much more time in the future. Much more videos to come in the future. You guys, by Joseph, by Colin Heim, ISP International. And take care of yourselves. And see everyone on the other side of the chessboard. Have a lovely transition into the spring season, everyone. Folks, see everyone on Saturday. And take care. And bye-bye for now.